answering your basic financial questions up front. Primarily, the first tab in the financial statement template does include your startup costs. First thing that you put is your name. Uh, defaults to Carla, but uh, whatever your name is, put that in. Next, pricing. What is the price of your average product or service? This is going to help you with your sales forecast. So if you have multiple different types of products, take the average of what the average customer would actually be spending. Is this $1,000? Great. Input that. If it's $10,000, great. Put that in. Whatever your average price of your product or service is, please input that. The next, what is the average cost of materials that it, you actually invest into each product or service? This is your variable cost. The average cost of materials you use in delivering each product or service. For a hairdresser, it could be a $20 haircut and they use $2 of product. Um, for software, it could be that it's a $50,000 piece of software and to customize for the specific customer, it costs $10,000 of hours. Whatever that is, for this one, let's just assume that for $10,000, $5,000 are our variable cost. Next, sales. How many sales do you actually expect in the first month? It's fairly difficult actually to have none. Uh, but let's say from the first month that you anticipate any sales, or let's say you already have some warm sales in the lead in your sales funnel, this is where you start. So you could say, I expect to have one sale. Now, because you're a startup, because this is a one year of business and most likely it's going to be in the growth phase, being the first, second, or third year, every single month you should anticipate some level of growth. So do you anticipate it to be 1% of growth or could it actually be 10% of growth every single month? Then put your growth per month. After completing the pricing section and the sales section, you have now completed your sales forecast. Move over to the second tab in order to see your sales forecast. This is based on a per month basis as well as a total for the year. The first part is how many customers, then how much revenue, what are your variable costs, which equates to your gross profit. This will be your profit prior to have your regular ongoing infrastructure expenses. So that would include things like your phone bill or your monthly salaries or your monthly rents. You have completed your sales forecast.